Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a subscribe link on MailChimp. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type mailchimp.com and hit the enter button. And that should take you into this page, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen. Of course, if you have an account, you can simply go and click at login into your account. So you can actually enter your name or user's name or email, then password. Then you can log in into your account. If you don't have an account, you can actually scroll down here and see all the plans that they have. They have the three paid plans and one pre plan. Once you choose whatever plan suits you, let's use this as an example. They're going to get you to the section where you can actually create your account. As you can see, let's just click add to this free plan, sign up for free or sign up free. And that should take you here. Simply just enter your email, username and password, then click on sign up. Let me do that and I'm coming back. So now you have to check your email by just going to your email and activate it by the message that they're going to send you. Once you activated your account, you'll find yourself here again. So let's just click at continue free. Here, you'll have just to enter your first name, last name. So let's just enter those. That is uh, like suggested for me and click on next. Of course, the phone number is just optional. And here, of course, you'll have to enter your address, thanks and etc. So let's just enter those, click on next. And here, of course, you'll have to answer some questions. If you don't want to, it's cool. You can just keep pressing, pressing and at next, as you can see. But the first one, you should actually just answer it and you will see the rest of them. You can actually cl keep clicking at skip. Once you finish, click on finish. And as you can see, once you click on let's go, you will find yourself on the home screen of the MailChimp website. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to add a subscribe link. And of course, if you want to do that, we can simply go and insert with link tool. And of course, you can do that on this content section on this left panel, click on content, then click on my files. Once you're here, as you can see, let's just choose this image as an example. Once we choose it, we can say go to this view details and click on this option. Then simply you can actually edit image. Or if it's a design, you can even edit it. Here, of course, you can just go and select the text. And once you have the text here, as you can see here, you don't have a lot of options. So we will not need So let's just go and create an email. So we can, uh, of course, design email. So we can actually show you how. Once we are here, we'll have to choose a theme. Of course, after we select the classical builder, of course, you can choose the normal one or the new one themes. Let's just choose this theme as an example. Here, we will find ourselves here. and here we can actually do that let's just drop a text as we said select it to edit it let's just delete this and here simply click on this link option that take you here so all you need to do if you want to enter or to insert and subscribe from this list so let's just first of all add a text like and subscribe and subscribe from this list Sorry, from this list by clicking here. And we can like do something like this. And this is going to be a list. And now we will have to add a link as we said. Click on this link. Once you do that, of course, make sure it's a web address. And here you can do this. Make sure to do this. This. Sorry. It should not be this. Let's just go back, click on link. So here, write this and this, and here, write and sub, and do the same again, this and this. And here, simply go and click on inserts option. As you can see, that inserts it that's for us. Now, all you need to do, just go and save and close. Now, if you click at continue, as you can see, you can set as default builder. And that should take you here. Of course, you can preview it whenever you want. But what we care about, of course, now, now the time is we go to our content sections and of course, then click add my files. And here, of course, I did not finish like up oh, uploading the 
or publishing what we created, I forgot to, but once you publish it, you'll find it here. Simply then click on it, then you will find an option, edit design on it, or like this the view details, click here and you'll find edit design. Once you click on it, you'll have to go and add a text. Then you'll find an icon like this one. It's going to be something like this. Simply click on it. And then you'll have to add the following code where you want to unsubscribe link to appear. So let me just create a new tab. You will have to insert this code. You can, of course, stop the video if you want, if you want to copy it by your own. And once you uh, type it there, simply just click on the source code again and then save and close and you will be good to go so that's actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye